Hello everyone, this is Jaren and Sal from marinadreef.com. Today we're doing another quick tip on aquarium maintenance and this one is using citric acid to clean your aquarium pumps. So I'm just going to ask Sal, when did you figure out that you needed to use citric acid? What happened and how did this get relevant to you as a, a new reef aquarist? Um, well, I started taking care of this tank and it was all the way, all the way put together um, and the pump in the back started to not blow as hard and the circulation in the tank wasn't too good. Um, so I just asked Jaren for help and what to do. Um, and so he explained to me that you have to um, soak these in citric acid to get all of the coralline buildup and calcium out of the pump. That way the impellers run correctly and it can keep the water flow going in your tank. Yeah, and I, I've seen many times working um, here and also at a local store, people bring pumps and they say, it's broken, it doesn't work, and you look at it and it looks like it came out of like a nuclear reactor <laughs> with all the crust on it. Because um, in the aquarium stuff is growing, whether it's algae or tube worms or um, little bits of coral even sometimes, and that pump that you spent lots of money on to pump a large amount of water will stop pumping that much if you don't clean it. Um, so th this, what the citric acid is, is it's an acid. Um, we use the Inland Sea citric acid. And the reason I like it is because it's a citric acid, so it's from fruit, it's nothing toxic, it's nothing that's gonna poison your aquarium. And when you use it to clean the power heads, it can dissolve all of the encrusted stuff off. So Cell, how exactly is it that you use the citric acid? So if someone is the first time saying, I need to use some citric acid to clean my pumps, what do they do? Um, so you, you don't put it in the tank. Um, <laughs> you don't put it in the tank. That's not how you use it. <laughs> um, so you take out your pump or whatever you need to clean um, and you put it in a container of water and put the citric acid into the water and mix it all together and let it sit and soak until the citric acid eats away all of stuff that is inside what you want to clean. Um, it looks like the flow just about doubled. We won't need to clean it for another six to eight months. Yeah, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you see, you're going to use just regular tap water, add the citric acid to it. The instructions are on the packet as far as how much you need. Um, I usually just leave it overnight. I usually just go to bed, wake up in the morning, and pull it out, and that'll help dissolve the stuff on it. Um, I know, so I think the only thing you've used is um, the citric acid for pumps. But these are also great for UV sterilizer sleeves, for heaters that get crusty, anything that gets that mineral buildup. Citric acid is a great way to dissolve it away.